This is The Film Room. I'm Jake Turner. Untold war stories are always the most in-depth. You can have successes like the Dostigi Airmen, Fury, or you can have failures like Wind Talkers, which in my opinion is one of the worst war films of all time. Mel Gibson is back in the director's chair with Hacksaw Ridge, the best war film since 2002's We Were Soldiers that also starred Gibson. Based on the true story of Army medic Desmond Doss that saved many people, and I'm not going to tell you the number, you just have to see it for yourself, it's during the Battle of Okinawa on Hacksaw Ridge. He was the first objector to receive the Congressional Medal of Honor. However, there is more to the story, which leads to my Oscar pick of the week. Set in 1945, Virginia, we are introduced to Das, playing an Oscar-nominated performance by Andrew Gar Garfield. He's a man that always had violence in his blood until one emotional event led to him becoming a pacifist who enlists in the army and does something rare, which is stick to his morals and religion by refusing to kill a man and not carrying his rifle. But this is where the film takes a step forward because this is captured in phenomenal ignorance and arrogance by his chain of command, especially by his drill sergeant, Sergeant Powell, played by none other than Vince Vaughn. He is abused profusely by his battalion and even called by Captain Winters, played by Sam Worthington, to quit and take a dishonorable discharge. However, he continues to stick to his morals, and that's what makes the film work. Lean into the Battle of Okinawa, where Gibson brings the graphic casualties of war in full and aggressive force in its most realistic and sickening way. However, you can't turn away. It's that amazing. Like with Braveheart and The Passion of the Christ, the violence is necessary. It's not glorified at all. It actually feels like you are on the battlefield with Doss. Thanks to Sa Simon Dugan's amazing cinematography and Rupert Gregson Williams' compelling score. Carfield captures the moral stricken and unselfish soul of Doss. You find yourself rooting for him throughout. But I was also impressed with Luke Bracey's Smitty because he was going down the Jai Courtney School of Wooden Acting with films like The November Man and Ugh, Point Break but not anymore. The real standouts were without question though, Vince Vaughn and Sam Worthington. Vaughn ditches his comedic chops and heads back to the 90s, showing off his dramatic versatility that he saw in movies like Swingers and A Cool Dry Place. He plays a fantastic drill sergeant, but to the point where it doesn't become unintended satire. And Worthington's character, man, he just continues to get better and better. It's a tough one to handle, but he creates a strong love and hate relationship with Doss. Teresa Palmer and Hugo Weaving also stretch out of their comfort zone with a true love story, and Weaving delivers as an alcoholic father who fought in World War I. In my opinion, I'm glad to see the respectful nod, but it is annoying that The Hurt Locker, one of the most inaccurate war films, gets more praise. It works as an action movie, but not as a war film. But with Hacksaw Ridge, I'll take it. Every veteran and active duty member must see this film. I did. So make sure that you watch the credits as well. I give Hacksaw Ridge an A. Now did you see Hacksaw Ridge? I want you to comment below. In Chicago, as the late Cisco Niebert once said, the balcony is closed. See you next time on The Film Room. I'm Jake Turner.